Hello everybody, I'm Joel, where I do reviews, help, funny, and much more. And this is my friend Joseph, which does gaming, and my friend Deegan from school. Hello, what's up everybody, it's Joel back from another Lego video, and today I'm not doing a review or anything. It's another custom model, and this one, me and my um, friend Joseph recently did. This is all a custom Lego pirate ship. So... Today I'll be giving you guys a tour of the whole entire ship as you can see it's kind of cluttered and for me it's hard to wrap my head around but I very much like it and I'll show you all the features of the ship so yeah um, let's go ahead and get right into the tour. So and since I started the build at the back I'll go ahead and move from the back to the front or the stern to the bow or the bow to the stern. I don't remember which one's the stern and which one's the bow. But anyway, we'll start back here, and the first thing I started do started to do was build up this section, which was to hold Joseph's custom Rick and Morty car that he built a while back, and this does eject, but I'll show you that a little later. And then, inspired by the Avengers helicarrier, these are supposed to be propellers, well not propellers, but rudders to lift it up and make it fly, and those are on either side as you can see right there and then back here this I actually did a little bit after I did the front but and since we're back here I'll show it so this is the only gun that's on the ship and this is supposed to be like a little gun well it's another gun connected to a gun that rotates so this rotates around like that and then this one can also move individually like that but yeah, and then back underneath, these are the propellers. I didn't get them close enough to the ground. I'll probably fix that later. But yeah, these are the two propellers, and they can move up and down. That goes for both. So they move like that. And then moving up, this is the crane right here to hold the brick and morty vehicle that has a fan on top the chain to well the the like chain well not chain but the wire to hold it and then there's I don't know what you call this thing but it, it's supposed to hold the lights to make the ship noticeable in night and then moving up more this is just some more little detailing that I did I put the a gear on it to make it look like this would be the stand wheel so whenever you turn the ship this would turn um, and then yeah this is all storage up in here yeah that's all storage so as you can see we have ice blocks and crabs and the ship is supposed to be old so that's why the crabs are on there and then we have two masts up here there's one with a swivel swiveling flag that can move and there's one with a non-movable flag and this is actually a bit of an interesting design because I built it up like that with the big wheel piece and then up here this one I really like because this is what helps hold this little net it came in the arctic set it's a little square that you make that you are supposed to use to like trap all strapped down like bears and stuff but yeah but I was just messing around and intact it like this not like that like this so it kind of looks like a taco but yeah and then as I said the ship is supposed to be old so we have like plants and stuff growing on the other two wings those on either side and then we have a light as well as these wings and then when this ejects the ship in theory would not have anything to control where it goes so when this ejects this would take control so in here we can open up this window and inside that is the makeshift driver that is supposed to be me or Joseph one of us because there's two guys there's a guy in there and a guy in here and then there's windows on the bottom and on the other side too and then this right here is usually the front of the ship but I was messing around and put this thing together that hangs off the front and it can swivel back and forth like this 
So that's cool. And then we have this big tube, which is actually left over from the Gama Mecha Man over there. And I used it here and connected these, like, vine pieces to it to make it look like that, which I think is cool. And then, yeah, now that we've covered mostly the whole entire ship, I will show you the eject feature. So first, you have to blow that down. Well, this isn't supposed to swivel like that. And then this can unhook from that, and then it tips forward. And then, it's actually connected right now, but there you go. And then this would eject, and it has wheels on the bottom, so you can go drive around. And yeah, that's the Rick and Morty car. And then that can go back in there. Just need to push it down. And then it sticks down, and then you can throw this back, get it to be level, put the hook on, and tighten up the tank. the eject feature and yeah I think that's going to finish it off I just wanted to share this with you guys because personally I really like this and sadly it doesn't float as it is too tall and has too much weight but if you take this whole entire back portion off and the Rick and Morty car and take this off it kind of floats but the back still sags down and it tips to one side but uh, yeah that's the lego custom pirate ship that me and joseph made i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you subscribe like turn notifications comment and share it to your friends family who have likes yeah bye for now Zzz.